Today I'll be talking about the issue with the Forever Packs in Pet Simulator 99. And if you don't know what a Forever Pack is, it's pretty much um, if you just go into your exclusive shop right here and you go down here, it's pretty much almost always here at this point. I mean, I don't think it's been gone since it was, it's been introduced. It just had different versions. And as you can see, you pretty much get like one thing for free at the start of it, which is probably the only good thing of this entire like pack right here. But then the rest is just, you know, you got to pay and pay. And uh, the more Robux you pay, the more further you progress through here and you get some free stuff along the way. And this pack is essentially endless because there's like just nothing at the end, I believe. I think it's just auto-generated, to be honest. And as you can see, you can just get different, you know, huge pets, different items, as you can see right here. And the issue that I have with these Forever Packs um, is that, you know, they're just way too often. I, I believe this is like the, what, the 10th version or something of the Forever Pack. We went from like the Leprechaun Forever Pack meant to be just for the Leprechaun event and now we just have this you know pretty much being here at every single event and obviously they got this idea from like mobile games because you know it's like the more pay to win mobile games because they usually have this sort of like feature right here and you know pet simulator implemented it but yeah the reason why i'm just not a fan of this is because they just leave a lot of different uh huges behind paywalls like the huge mech dino you literally can't get unless you pay you know for it with robux and stuff um, same thing with this other stuff as you can see right here and you know you can argue that the titanics are pretty much exactly the same except you're actually getting a real life item here um, i mean here you're, you're straight up paying robux there you're actually paying like real money to get a plushie um, which is going to give you a code and so just for this video i'm going to demonstrate it by just purchasing one thing i mean i'm really extremely broke i'm out of 34 robux up um, if i just buy this real quick as you can see i bought it you know they get you get some confetti right here and if i were just get some stuff for free there we go there we go we just got stuff free and there we go another paywall right here i haven't got to pay to actually get this and i'm not sure if this is actually against tos because you're really paying for stuff that you don't know like what's to come like as you can see right here this thing this thing at the end right here it's cut off you can't really see it so you might be actually paying and you don't know what you're actually getting from this which if i'm not mistaken it is against the tos you know these forever packs were just another way to get these huge pets then that'd be a lot more and i'd be a lot more cool with that but these like two huges right here as you can see i believe actually one of them is actually attainable from the actual egg but the other one's like completely unobtainable once you get it from the dino pack right here and then same thing with these like huge uh you know, Kitsune Fox and the Titanic. You literally have to go through here and buy these stuff just for a chance because you don't even know what's over here. Like as you can see, you're pretty much paying to either buy it for super cheap and get it early or you're buying it for super expensive. Because I actually got a huge pet from one of these forever packs, a golden one actually, for only like around 300 Robux, which is insane. While you have other people who spend like a thousand Robux just for a normal huge pet, which I think is really rigged with this forever pack right here. So to sum it all up, I think the forever pack really needs to, you know, have a reboot or like a change right here, or they should just get rid of it, you know, right off the bat, because I mean, this is another pay to win way to get, um, you know, people to buy stuff. But here, you, you know, you don't even know how much Robux you're gonna have to spend to get a huge pet. Here, you know, it's a 1% chance. Obviously you can get unlucky and, you know, you might be able to spend more, but at least, you know, like the percents and the chances right here, here you don't really know that about the dino pack lab so while yes the you know the exclusive eggs are going to be more expensive probably than like you know more pay to win than the you know these forever packs the forever packs they pretty much just mask what you're actually purchasing which is really annoying like if you just buy you know, if you buy 10 eggs right here you're getting all 10 eggs and you're getting a percentage as to get you know this but here on the other hand it's pretty much you're, you're you know essentially just gambling for uh to potentially get the huge so hopefully pet simulator 99 makes a change to this forever pack that they added you know since like update i don't know like five or something and they'll make it less like gambling and just make it you know like another you know extra feature that people can use to actually get pets faster so hopefully pet simulator 99 revamps their uh forever pack and make it less like gambling and more like actually you know another pay to win feature and if you want to check out the current state of the pet simulator 99 economy make sure to check out this video right here